Okay, let's tackle how to keep the aliens on the stage first. So, under Move Aliens 2, what we can do is we can go down here and. Whoops, this is my other game. In the new version we're working with. Okay, Move Aliens 2. We go down here and we say if aliens right. So, what we can do is this is the block here that moves the aliens right, left, up, or down. It doesn't set the ADR. This is just the direction. It doesn't set the direction. It just says, is the direction set? And if it is, is it right, left, up, or down? And then it moves the alien accordingly to these variables, DR, DL, DU, DD. So what we can do is, we could say, we could put another if statement in here. So we could say a nested if. So we'll set a nested if, right? And after the nested if, we'll just do an else like that. And of course once we do an else, we need to let's see here. Tab. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So if we'll test to see if the if the alien or the enemy is off screen. And if he's off screen we'll put him back on screen. Else we'll just move him as normal. And so to do that, we say, and let's see here, we're dealing with the right variable right here, right? So the right variable, we could say if, copy that, if dot underscore x is greater than or equal to right bound, the right boundary, right, then what we do is we need to set the ADR to a new location. So go in here, paste, change it from a double equal to an equal, and change it to left. So if the alien is greater than the right bound, we change the direction to left, and then we need to move it left kind of push him in that direction to start with. So change that to DL. So there it is. There's the the code that you need. And what we'll do is we'll just take this and copy it. Paste. And if it's less than or equal to the left boundary, change his direction to right, and then move him right, right, and then of course else, tab, and tab, and then end that. So there it is, there's two blocks right there, for right and for left, and now Let's do the next one. Copy, paste, and we can say if the Y is, he's headed up, so if he's less than top bound, changes direction to down, move his Y down, else keep moving him the way he is going. And we need to put in okay. All right, and then we'll just copy that and put that in here. If he's going down, the bottom boundary if it's greater than or equal to the bottom boundary set change the direction to up move him up tab else keep moving the way he was going so we'll try that out
and we'll see if it works. So now you can see our interval firing and there they go. You can see just change directions, right? And you can see they've changed directions. And so now we have them moving around on the stage. They can kill us, right? So that's good, right? And they move around. But one of the things that they don't have yet, and this is things that I put in mine, which is they change the directions. They can run, they can walk sideways when they're moving sideways. And also, you can't shoot them. In my finished version, they're indestructible. Whereas here, you can see that I can easily shoot them, right? So how would you do that? How would you make them indestructible and do that? And that would be the next piece. And to do that, you would need to use the move laser. You would do it in the move laser function, which tests to see if there's a hit on the alien. So that's where you'd set that.